April J. L. Kiza, DSM student of Jose Rizal Memorial State University Main Campus. Today, I will be performing a Fatal Heart Monitoring using the status quo. So, stay tuned! So first and foremost, we have to check the medical order or the nursing care plan to provide important data about the patient health status. Next is I have to perform hand washing and put a PPE if indicated to avoid the spread of microorganisms. Is I have to identify the patient using the two identifiers. This is um, by asking the patient's name, uh, last name, and her birth date, and by the, by the wristband. And then this is to make sure that you're assessing the right patient. Hello, ma'am. Can I ask your name, your last name, and your birth year? Hello, nurse. Um, my name is Sheila Mabel Tabati. I was born on I have to close the curtains around the bed and the door to room if possible to provide the patient's privacy. Next is introduce yourself to the patient and discuss the procedure to the patient so that the patient will understand and can cooperate accordingly. Um, I am April J. Pisa, your nurse this afternoon. Today, I will be checking for the rate of fatal heart rate and the presence and absence of acceleration of the fatal heart rate. Um, fatal heart rate, mom, is monitoring pressure, the heart rate, and the rhythm of your baby. Is that okay, mom? Yes, it's okay. Next is exposed the part that is to be examined. And drape the other parts to cover the unexposed area. Next is perform a Leopold's maneuver. Second, umbilical grip. Next is place the diaphragm of the stethoscope in the patient's abdomen where the fetal back is located. And count with one full minute. The normal result, mom, is uh, 120 to 160 beats per minute, and uh, below or above the range indicates fetal distress. Next is covered exposed area. Assess the patient into a comfortable position. Mom, I will make you comfortable after doing what I have been doing. And after doing everything that, remove the equipment in use and perform hand hygiene to deter the spread of microorganisms. And don't forget to document all the gathered data. And that's all. Thank you for watching. Hope you like it.